Welcome back to Wargamer Online and today we've got a new kit. This is the Primaris Apothecary from Games Workshop and we're just going to have a look at what you actually get inside the box. It's a lovely little character and I was really happy to pick this one up as soon as I could basically. On the back of this box first of all we've got the unhelmeted version and the helmeted version. It's also got all the different versions of tools that you can have on the, around this model and it's got the little metroid alien thing which is holding and somebody said that on a recent live chat that that's what it looked like so that's what we're taking it as but it is a progenoid gland it's also got the absolver bolt pistol and we also have the reductor bolt pistol so there's two nice little pistols which this guy carries as an extra there is a dead ultramarine on his base so he's just basically harvesting organs now inside the box we start off with the instructions we've got the same pictures with the helmet or the unhelmeted version. These are quite nice instructions, the colour, they explain how to build the model, it's not a difficult one because it is just a hero but if you were struggling it's explaining all of it in here. You've got the different choices of tools, how the weapons go together and it's quite straightforward as long as you follow the instructions. I don't think there's much converting you can do straight out of the box. What we see from a lot of these kits now is they're built as you see them. If you want to convert them, you need to start chopping them up and changing the angles on things. There's also a little bit of a transfer sheet guide here on where they go. But we're going to the rules now. Stats wise, he is like a normal Primaris Marine. He's got five inch movement though, rather than the standard six. He's three up weapon skill and four up ballistic skill are the same i think the only bonus really is the wounds and he's got an extra attack normal than uh, what the sergeant would have but he is an elite choice so for four power he's fairly decent i think he's about 68 points off the top of my head weapon wise he's got an absolver bolt pistol and the reductor pistol and they've both got some really nice stats the minus three ap on the reductor pistol is really good and it represents basically him able to cut through the armor of the space marines when he's removing the organs so that's quite a nice little extra because they're both pistols as well he can use them in the combat phase well he can use them while he's in combat not in the combat phase so you can get up close and personal with enemy units and still shoot them ability wise the apothecary's got the narthesium which is the standard that you see from apothecaries so at the end of any of your movement phases the apothecary can attempt to heal or revive a single model now you have to select a friendly chapter infantry or biker unit within three inches of the apothecary that's the only thing you can use this on and if the unit contains any wounded models it immediately regains d3 lost wounds so that's quite good if the chosen unit doesn't have any wounded models, then you basically can revive somebody from the unit. As long as there's one person left in the unit, you can revive them. And on a four plus, you put one back and it's on one wound. After that, you can heal it on subsequent turns. The one thing to remember is if you fail to revive somebody while you're doing that, then the apothecary can no longer shoot or charge or fight. You can't do anything else for the remainder of the turn. And the other thing that you need to remember is the unit can only be the target of the Narthesium ability once in each turn. So you can't use multiple apothecaries to uh, keep whole units alive. You have to do specific different ones. Onto the sprues now, we'll take a look at what you actually get inside here. We start with the transfer sheet. And this is the new Primaris character transfer sheet. There's a bunch of different symbols on here for captains, apothecaries, librarian, the chaplain and the lieutenant. And you just use whichever symbols you want off here and put them on your model. Nice that they've included that. We've got a 40 mil base, which is higher than the standard 32 mil, which the rest of these Marines are on. And we've got two sprues, which is because there's a sheer amount of little bits on here. It's quite a, a chunky model. And we'll start off with the main sprue. It's got a really nice torso with robes and a nice holster on this. I do like that it's the perfect size for the pistol that it's carrying. That's a nice addition. There's also an, a second holster with a pistol inside it on his back or in his waist area once it's been built. The other nice stuff on this, I mean the ultramarine base is awesome. It's quite nice and it looks like it's quite recessed as well. It's a fairly flat one. It's not going to come off the base quite so much. The head on this model is not necessarily as dramatic or as unique as I would expect for most of these character models. It's quite a basic looking head. I might change it for something else and in my Black Dragons I've got a lot of heads from Spellcrow. The armour head however is really nice and there's a lot of detail on this. He's got the extra lenses, he's got the apothecary symbol on the top of his forehead. So that might be a potential one to use. 
there's a nice little skull on the back here as well. I didn't notice that. It's got one of the, I think it's a six on the forehead in, ingrained in it. Very high detail, same as the rest of the Primaris kits. And the second sprue is just filled with all of the equipment. So you've got the armor for his legs and they're on the front, they are separate. Looks like they go together fairly well. It's got separate shoulder pads. So if you wanted to do chapter specific shoulder pads and you've got the upgrades for that, you can easily replace them instead of using these. On top of that, we've got the all the bits of equipment, the tools, the chirurgeon tools that he has. And he's got the reductor pistol as well on here. There's some purity seals just above, and they've got little grenades as well. And there's like, I mean, that's the Metroid alien that somebody pointed out. So it's a progenoid gland and he's got his little capsule as well to carry gene seed around with him or whatever it is that he carries in that capsule. Maybe it's just an energy drink just for while he's running around healing people. We have, I think that's the scope. There's a dog hair there, we're gonna remove that. But there's a the extra lenses so he can zoom in a little bit more on what he's looking at. Probably to check that he's got the right sort of DNA before he puts it in his capsule and wanders off across the battlefield. You don't want any dodgy DNA. So overall, it's a really nice kit. There's loads of nice little bits and pieces. You can use these on other models and convert them and chop them up as well. Let us know in the comments down below if you're going to be picking up one of these apothecaries or two or three of them, or if you're going to convert them from kits you already have. And hopefully this video helped. Give us a like if it did and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next unboxing or bat rep or tutorial or whatever it is that comes out next. Have a good one, people.